hello crypto miners i am caitlin again and will be your host for today's magical ama with elvish magic so just the name itself sounds pretty magical right and of course uh, behind every magical project comes with a very magical team but um they uh whoever is with us today mr greek is just the spokesperson of the team so let us now introduce him hello mr greek Hi, Rainy. How you doing? Hello, everyone. My uh, name's Greek. Nice to be speaking here today. Yeah, I'm very great. How's your day going? Uh, it's been amazing. It's, uh, it's been a very restful weekend. Thanks for asking. How's your day been? Oh, well, it's been a pretty busy day for me, but yeah, sounds good for you. Yeah, thank you. All right. Yeah, so let's start our AMA with a brief self-introduction. So the the community can know you and of course maybe you can like introduce the team on their behalf as well if you can and maybe you can give us a snippet of their experiences on the space all right so hi everyone um it's really an honor to be talking to the crypto miners community um it's apparently an amazing community i was following through the previous am Um, thank you, Rainy, for having me. Uh, my name's Greek. I've been in the space for quite a while. Um, I've been in the crypto space, say, I think 2017. I think the next year, six years. Uh, you know, I dabbled into Bitcoin majorly. And then, you know, I found my way into DeFi. Um, I've worked with, you know, tons of projects. Um, you know, worked as a community manager, worked as an iPad, uh, you know, invested in a couple of projects. Um, also, I and I have worked in marketing also, and um, currently I represent teams, you know, as the, you know, AME speaker or, you know, I help them with the AME side of things. And, um, you know, today I will be discussing the Elvish Magic uh, project. Um, the Elvish Magic team has a core team of three and, you know, they have an extended team of five. Um, basically, in the core team, we have uh, the three core team members, uh, Kurumo, Lauren, and A. Wadil. And I think they ought to, you know, uh, be on the call. Uh, you can, if you jump into a Telegram, you know, they're there, you know, talking to investors, answering questions. Um, we also have a blockchain developer, and then, you know, we also have a community manager. And more importantly, to join the core team is the, uh, you know, the marketing, um, the CMO for um, our chain. So um, the team has, you know, hired the services, you know, of the CMO of our chain. Anyone, you know, quite familiar with our chain uh, can actually attest to how successful, you know, how chain was, you know, straight up launch. Um, you know, I think they launched sometime in November of 2022. Um, you know, they had quite a very successful launch. And, um, you know, I think it was about 10, 20x straight up launch and it's still pushing. You know, our chain is currently on multiple uh, centralized exchanges, and we are using uh, the same uh, marketing personnel. Um, I don't know. Can I, you know, just head right into the project? Yeah, we can move on to the next uh, question. So that's a very great and strong team. Thank you so much, Mr. Greek, for introducing them to us. So let's explore the magical system of Elvish Magic. So let's start off with the main product, which is the Elvish Magic Pad, right? So which this is an all-in-one incubator for projects, right? So can you give us an overview regarding this and how does this uh, launch pad works? So um, the entire Wish Magic ecosystem in itself um, is a fully decentralized. Um, is you know fully decentralized, um, and it would be utilized in launching new ideas. Um, it's an all-in-one incubation hub that helps you know offer um, you know DeFi services across uh, major and multiple you know blockchains. Uh, the Elvish Magic token is currently live. Um, and, you know, we are trading at, uh, you know, around 240K market cap, uh, which is, you know, quite low. There is a lot of upside, uh, you know, to the token. And, uh, you know, going into, uh, you know, the question you asked about the Elvish uh, Magic Pad, uh, you know, it's going to be a platform which is going to be used for, you know, launching innovative uh, DeFi ideas. Uh, the launch pad will be backed by the most innovative technological solutions that are currently on the blockchain. 
um, the aim is to you know support newer projects and ideas uh, while also providing rewards back to users of the launchpad. Um, you know we've seen in the past where popular launchpads uh, you know do buy back of the native token you know of the launchpad going into you know seven figures uh, you know millions of dollars you know uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know imagine uh, you know all of these funds being uh, redistributed back to users of the uh, launchpad in the form of you know airdrops um, uh, you know as in the form of airdrop as a fraction of the previous uh, you know transactions uh, over uh, you know the the existence or you know of the launchpad um, the launchpad will service uh, you know projects across uh, multiple chains and more more importantly uh, you know teams that are building on our chain. So uh, the launchpad is going to, you know, be available for uh, projects um, that are trying to, it's going to be available for projects that are trying to launch on multi-chains, BNB, uh, the BNB chain, uh, Ethereum, uh, Polygon, Martig, Evax, you know, as many as possible. And also, more importantly, we will be, you know, focusing and provided, you know, assistance to, you know, project teams, you know, ideas that are willing to launch on the LV chain. Wow, that's wonderful. Okay, so what types of projects do you usually incubate in uh, Elvish Magic Pad? Like, uh, suppose it's it's just like pure GameFi or or DeFi projects or or just anything. So thank you. Um, the projects that would be incubated, you know, on the Elvish Magic Pad uh, is going to be uh, you know majorly GameFi projects. So they are going to be IGOs. Um, there are not so many. You know, launch pads that are uh, that help you know target uh, IGOs. Most launch pads are primarily you know from for IGOs. Uh, we would also be supporting IGOs, um, you know, as well as you know pre-sales, fair launches, uh, you know, projects ranging from utility projects um, to you know um, you know game fire projects uh, to just straight up meme tokens. Um, all of these uh, ideas, all of these teams, you know, that are building would you know be able to. You know, utilize the magic part would be able to receive support you know from the launch part oh all right got that that's a really great uh, support that you guys provide um and you know i think elvish magic pad is a perfect uh, partner yeah. for startup okay so um i have another question here it just came into my mind but how do you guys ensure and screen the projects that will launch an elvish magic pad you know like to guarantee the investors that they won't be affiliated to any fraud project in your platform and such you know like just like how do you guys ensure so um you know there are tons of um uh, you know ways in which you know we can ensure that um you know uh projects are not uh you know projects are not for the length projects are not scams uh, you know, first off, we would be utilizing, uh, you know, the pin sale badge system where, you know, we would give varying badges, um, you know, should the team be docs, should, should the team be KYC'd, uh, you know, should the team, uh, you know, have an audit, you know, investors or users would be able to see, you know, all of that. Also, there is going to be a tier system also where, uh, you know, say projects that have, uh, you know, been able to meet a certain criteria, um, that has been set, you know, by the launchpad, by the, by the team, uh, would get a certain tier ranking. Um, and, you know, depending on the tier, uh, you know, that is, uh, that the project is currently ranked on, um, users will be able to make, you know, more informed decisions, uh, more safer bets when it comes to, you know, buying into pieces, dumping into pieces. Uh, they would be able to take more calculated risk before, because, you know, we will be providing more information. Um, like I had mentioned, you know, um, earlier, uh, that it's going to be an incubation up. There is going to be a tier, you know, for, you know, incubator pro um, incubated uh, projects. Um, so investors would be able to figure out, um, you know, projects that have been incubated by the launch party in itself. You know, um, projects that have been incubated in-house are going to, you know, carry, you know, more, uh, you know, assurance, uh, more safety, uh, you know, and then, you know, the, uh, there is going to be, you know, more promise of, uh, you know, um, profit making, you know, for uh, projects that have, you know, higher rankings, higher tiers. So, you know, we will be utilizing these two methods to ensure that, you know, investors are seeing investor funds 
uh, you know, are safe. And not only that, investors are profitable, you know, off the launch pad. Oh, wow. That really gave investors a security and confidence in their investments. That's very, very great. Okay, so uh, the thing that you're referring about the tier system, is this the, the feature that I've seen on the website about um, the Elvish Magic Pad tier system? Can you, because that's the next question is supposed to be, like, can you clarify this to us? Yes, so um, the Elvish Magic tier system is what would be used to, you know, um, is what we would be used, you know, to rank uh, the projects. But um, for that which is listed on the website, uh, the tier system is majorly applicable to, you know, users. Um, that particular tier system is going to uh, be a tier-based, uh, you know, reward or privilege system. And what I mean is, uh, say uh, there are projects that intend to have, um, say, a, um, you know, say 500 BNB pre-sale and, um, you know, they have a they set certain limits. Um, users that hold NFTs because uh, the tier system uh, is going to be powered by NFTs. So there is going to be an Elvish Magic um, NFT collection. Uh, the tier system is going to be powered, you know, by these NFTs. Um, I think I can I can also, you know, forward you, um, you know, some uh, designs for the NFTs. Uh, just give me a sec. I would send them to you in the DM. Um, you know, just sure, give, I will send uh, it to you. Just to give the community a sneak peek of, you know, what is uh, what the NFTs will look like. So I sent them to your DM already. So just to give, you know, the community a sneak peek of what, uh, you know, the NFTs would look like. These NFTs are going to be powering, you know, the tier system. Uh, you know, users are going to get access to, you know, special privileges and perks. Uh, based off the NFTs they are holding, or oh, like uh, you know the example I was citing, say um, a project uh, you know, that is to have say 500 BNB, um, you know, sale, and they want to you know partition the sale and give access to uh, you know different forms of person. So say holders of the um, rare NFT, rare magic, uh, Elvish magic NFTs. Uh, might be able to buy, you know, say max buy in the pre-sale. Let assume, you know, the max buy is 5 BNB. Uh, they would be able to max buy. Um, say, uh, you know, the holders of the, you know, legendary NFT uh, would be able to buy, uh, you know, a max of 2 BNB, uh, while, you know, non-holders of the NFT uh, might only be able to get, you know, uh, just uh, 50 BNB, uh, um, just $50 um, into the 500 BNB pre-sale. So, you know, this is going to help, you know, Ransom because there is going to be a belief that, you know, holders of these NFTs are not, um, you know, they are not your traditional um, JIT that would, you know, dump uh, in the first, you know, 10 seconds of launch. Um, and this in itself will give the project enough space, you know, to build, uh, you know, to push the chart because um, we are going to be censoring, you know, the quality of investors that are getting into the project. So, you know, while also making profit, you know, for uh, the users, for the investors, we are also ensuring that the projects, you know, that are coming into, you know, this space are able to survive. Uh, hello, Mr. Creek. I think we lost you. Are you there? Yeah. Oh. Uh, did I did I cut out? Yeah, you got cut out. <laughs> okay. So. Um, so the tier system is majorly is going to be in two fronts. There is going to be the tier system, you know, for users, and there is also going to be a tier system uh, for investors. Uh, the tier system for, uh, you know, the tier system for project owners or for projects is going to rank, you know, the projects in uh, in the order of the confidence that the uh, Elvish Magic Pad, you know, has in the project. You know, projects that you know we uh, supposedly have high confidence in are going to be ranked you know, in the higher tiers and, you know, uh, depending on, you know, the confidence the team has in all of this project. Also, um, the second tier system, which is going to be the NFT-based tier system, is going to give, uh, you know, users or holders of the NFTs um, increased, uh, you know, perks, you know, when they use the launchpad, you know, things like occasional cashbacks, um, you know, occasional rewards. They would also be able to stake, 
you know, the NFTs to earn additional income. Thank you so much. That's wonderful uh, that your system, uh, there's two types. So thank you so much for clarifying that to us. And yeah, since you've already discussed about NFTs, um, I've seen on your website that Elvish Magic also has an NFT marketplace, right, Mr. Greek? So um, what we have is a marketplace slash agrito. Um, the, the marketplace oh. in itself is not going um the marketplace in itself is not going to you know support uh you know users uploading uh you know their art their content you know or maintain them as nfts on the marketplace uh what the marketplace would do would be to aggregate data across you know tons and tons of other marketplaces um anyone quite familiar with um you know uh, what decentralized you know aggregators do when it comes to the token type what they do is um say you want to make an order uh you know you want to buy one bnb and you come to the um dex uh, to the decentralized uh, aggregator the dex aggregator and you impute you know the figure one bnb what the aggregator does is it samples multiple uh decentralized exchanges from pancake swap you know to one inch router it goes around all of this uh you know it goes around all, all of this, um, you know, decentralized exchanges, and it helps you to get uh, the uh, the exchange that sells, you know, BNB for the cheapest. Um, if you check or if you hop onto CMC or CG, and um, you know, you scroll, you say you check uh, a certain asset, say in the top hundred, um, and then you check, uh, say you check Bitcoin, the price of Bitcoin on Binance is going to be slightly different from the price of Bitcoin uh, on Coin. Uh, um, on uh, Coinbase is going to be slightly different from who will be, it's going to be slightly different from, you know, based on, uh, you know, the exchanges, the prices are going to be slightly different. So the DEX is going to provide you with, you know, what exchange has the cheapest price whilst um, helping you, you know, save money. Um, this is similar, uh, but we will be doing this for, for, an, for NFTs instead of, you know, what is seen with tokens. Um, the aggregator is going to form a gateway for, you know, participating in the purchase and the sale um, of exclusive NFTs across, you know, multiple uh, NFT marketplaces, you know, like uh, OpenSea, Rarible, you know, Luxra. Uh, it is also going to provide, you know, real-time market data and, and analytics on the NFT collections. Oh, wow. The marketplace has a lot of utilities. Okay, so is the marketplace already live as of now or is this soon to be launched? So uh, the marketplace is not live yet. Um, the ETA for the marketplace is going to be announced uh, very soon, um, you know, as well as uh, the launch pad, the um, timeline for, uh, you know, the release of, uh, you know, those two utilities would be announced very shortly. I would advise everyone, you know, to jump into the Telegram, um, you know, to head in, uh, you know, into our Telegrams. We have about four communities. We have an English community, Chinese community, a uh, Turkish community, and an Indian community. So, you know, based off, you know, uh, what language you speak uh, or what language you can understand at the moment. And then I also know, you know, Telegram has a new feature in case you've not updated your Telegram where, you know, you can translate, uh, you know, almost any language to, you know, English or whatever your, uh, you know, your um, default language is. Um, yeah, so I would advise everyone to jump into the Telegram, you know, just to stay abreast, uh, you know, with latest information about, you know, the projects, the utilities. Yeah, thank you so much, Mr. Greek. And I hope you keep us updated regarding the marketplace. Whenever it is launched, I hope our community gets the you know latest updates. And for the community, I invite you guys. Uh, Mr. Greek is inviting you all to join their Telegram community. I will post the links there later. I've composed um I've uh compiled everything. Um their Twitter link, Telegram link, website link. So I will be sending those later on. So I hope you guys can check it out and yes for the next question mr greek i have here is about the token emp so can you give us an overview about the token and its utilities as well okay so um 
the EMP token is live already. Uh, we launched um, on the on the second of this month. That is about um, about a week ago. Um, there was two pre-sales, you know, for the token. Um, we had um, one pre-sale on uh, the lovely Inu launchpad uh, where we raised uh, 70k, and also we had another pre-sale on Pink Sale where we raised uh, 260 BNB. Um, like I mentioned, the token launched, you know, on the 2nd of uh, February around, uh, I think, 2 p.m. UTC. Um, you know, it went on to, um, it went on to about uh, 2 to 3x, uh, straight up launch. Uh, the starting market cap was around, um, you know, 300, between 300 and 400k. Um, you know, we are currently sitting at, you know, 240, 230k. Uh, so it's a little bit, you know, uh, below the starting market cap. Um, you know, this uh, is actually a choice tip. This is, um, you know, the point where uh, users actually should act, should get in, you know, into the token. Uh, the token is yet to be listed on CMC and CG, uh, but with an average, you know, trading volume at of around 50 to 100K, uh, you know, CMC and CG is coming. And when that does come, uh, with that volume, you know, the token is going to be a flyer. Um, also, one of the challenges, you know, the team faced, uh, you know, when it comes to, you know, putting the token on CMC and CG, you know, has to be, you know, the marketing team, uh, a couple of members of the, you know, marketing team, specifically, you know, the dudes um, overseeing, um, you know, the CMC and CG listing, you know, like I had mentioned earlier, we had, we have, you know, marketing uh, team members, you know, from Turkey, and, um, you know, unfortunately, they were, you know, affected by the earthquake, um, you know, they lost their lives to the earthquake. Um, so, you know, we had to, you know, post that while trying to, you know, reach out to the families, you know, provide support, uh, you know, seeing how hard over time. But, you know, the team now is back to getting the project, you know, on TMC and CG. Uh, because it's currently a weekend, um, you know, we'll have to wait till Monday. Uh, but I'm quite confident that, you know, um, we are going to be listed on CMC and CG in the first few days, you know, of the new week. All right, wonderful. Um, uh, we, the crypto miners, is um, praying for the team member you guys have over Turkey. So I hope he is doing well and okay. I know it's pretty difficult at times in Turkey right now. So we are praying for them. And yes, thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Greek, uh, on which chain will um, the EMP token be available on first? So um, the EMP token is currently uh, live on um, the EMP token is currently live on the BSC. Uh, there is plans or there is ongoing plans, you know, to have you know an out chain site uh, to the EMP token while also having you know the EMP token on other chains, uh, you know, majorly Ethereum um, and the likes, um, you know. But there is a couple of things that needs to be put in place. Um, the team, the team in itself wants to check out, uh, wants to check off. You know a couple of utilities of um you know they want to check them off their list uh you know majorly uh the magic pad and also the aggregator uh you know so they can actually you know focus on taking this token multi-chain but at the moment you know the token is live uh on the bsc so there is only a bsc site uh, for the emp token for now all right, thank you so much. Noted that, Mr. Greek. And yeah, for the last question I have here for introduction segment, uh, the staking pools program and the launchpad, um, how do they relate to each other and what opportunities come along with them that uh, users can enjoy? Okay, so um, I think I would initially uh, go into what the staking program is. Um, the staking feature in the project is going to allow users to lock tokens uh, for a certain period of time, uh, while also earning fixed APYs based off, you know, the staking duration. Um, also, we have farming. Farming uh, is going to allow holders to provide, you know, their tokens as liquidity uh, in a smart contract-based liquidity pool. Uh, liquidity providers are going to be incentivized, you know, by getting a fraction of the fees you know, that are generated uh, by the smart contract. So, um, you know, staking uh, uh, is you know, going to play into the launch pad because um, there is a plan to, you know, redistribute, uh, you know, rewards back to, you know, users, holders of the token, users of the launch pad, holders of the NFTs. And, um, you know, investors who have staked their token are going to uh, be privileged to get, 
a higher chunk, you know, when that dis redistribution of the work does happen. Um, like I stated, you know, earlier, uh, I think Pink Sale sometime last year, they made a $1 million buyback, you know, for uh, their token. Uh, so, you know, just imagine, uh, you know, that $1 million was redistributed, you know, back to holders um, in the form of airdrops, you know, say BUSD airdrops, uh, you know, BNB airdrops based off how, uh, you know, how much, uh, you know, how much they've transacted on the platform. Because I can assure you that there are tons of persons that use, you know, all of these launch pads every single day, uh, but they do not, uh, you know, they use the launch pad every single day, but they do not hold the native tokens, you know, for the launch pad. So, you know, the Elvish Magic team has set up a couple of, you know, um, points or avenues to reward uh, these different holders. So, you know, um, you know, investors or holders of the token that have their token, token staked, you know, that have the NFT staked, uh, when this, you know, redistribution of reward does happen, you know, they stand a chance, you know, to uh, receive a higher chunk uh, compared to, you know, other uh, category of holders. All right, got that. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Greek. And I think that's the end of our introduction segment. And we have a few people here who are wanting to speak or ask their questions to you. So are you ready to take on some questions from the crowd? Um, can I you know, just chip in a couple of things before I take questions? Yeah, sure. Um, for the last All things right. you would like to. Yeah, sure, go on. All right, so um, like I mentioned, you know, CMC and CG is incoming. Um, the NFTs and, uh, uh, you know, the staking pools are going to be ready very shortly. Um, you know, Rainy has helped, you know, share, uh, you know, the, a sample of some of the NFTs. You know, you can check them out. They are beautiful art. Um, we are currently in negotiations with, you know, a couple of projects, about 20 of them, you know, that we intend to partner, uh, to partner with. Um, we are also currently in talks with, you know, uh, a couple of, you know, tier one exchanges, you know, with a high volume, uh, you know, just to give, um, you know, just to give a face to the token. Um, uh, like I had mentioned, you know, the CMO for Halving Chain is currently helping us, you know, with marketing. Uh, we are looking to have, you know, this token, um, say, in millions of market cap in, in a week, about a, in a week or two. Um the ETA for the launchpad um, will be announced uh, very soon. Also, uh, we have made an agreement with the first project you know, that would be uh, used in utilizing the launchpad. Uh, we finalized agreement. Um, we are currently you know, incubating uh, that project. Also, um, for you know, everyone, it's been over uh, a week uh, since you know, the token went live. Uh, so there isn't exactly any fear. Um, you know, about JITs uh, or, you know, pre-sellers, you know, jumping on you. Um, if you are jumping into the project now, you are literally buying uh, the absolute uh, bottom. So, um, yeah, um, you know, a new ATH is going to be refreshed, uh, you know, very soon. And at the moment, we have, uh, we currently have a big buy competition that is currently ongoing. Um, there are tons of prizes to be won. Um, the highest buy in the duration of the biggest buy uh, is going to win $750 worth of EMP token, while the second is going to get $500 worth of EMP token, and the third is going to get $250 worth of EMP token. You know, um, a big buy competition at the bottom of the chart is super amazing. I would, you know, I'm, I'm inviting everyone to, you know, jump into the Telegram, uh, you know, meet with the guys, ask questions, um, you know, check out the website, elvishmagic.com, check out the white paper, and um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, Mr. Greek, uh, until when is the big buy competition uh, will be going? Until when? Okay, um, I would like to confirm that, you know, just give me a sec uh, to right. confirm. Yeah, but um, the big buy competition is Still live. Um, I think the team hasn't announced. As of you know, the moment, when, um, yeah, as of this moment, the team hasn't announced. You know when, uh, you know the buy competition would be ending. Um, I know that there are lots of persons on the sideline, you know, waiting for the announcement uh, to see, you know, if 
uh, they are going to, you know, to check every other person's buy. You know, it's like a game of cards. They are looking at, uh, you know, what every other person is holding before playing. Uh, so I know there are a couple of persons on the sideline waiting to jump in. Um, you know, but the announcement as regards, you know, uh, when it will close is going to be announced very soon. Are you there? Yeah, I am, Mr. Gates. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you do clarify regarding the date, but maybe we can announce that later on if you are still yet to confirm that to the team. And yeah, shall we move on to the question and answer part? Yes, uh, we can move on to, you know, taking questions. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Greek, for the wonderful introduction and for the additional information for the community as well. And we have some hands here raising up. So would you like to pick anyone, Mr. Greek? <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see those people with the raised hand icon on your screen. Yeah, I, I can actually see tons of persons, uh, the numbers. There are lots of persons in the BC. Um, I can see yeah. one person. There is Alpha. I don't know if you can see Alpha. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alpha is the founder of Crypto Miner. So uh, you can... Oh, is Alpha... Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you can pick one with the racing icon. Okay, because I can see Alpha's hand raised. Also, um, can you... Oh, Alpha. Um, I can see Alpha. Um, there it's it's quite hard. Um, Alex Sons. Alex Sons. Oh, I see Alex Sons here, a gamer, NFT holder, and crypto investor. Hello, Alex. You can unmute yourself now. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yeah, go on with the question. Okay, my question is: a big big problem of the NFTs communities is a poor control of the supply and circulation of the native tokens that lead to a terrible deflation. Could you please explain us the circulation reduction strategies and how to how they hope to maintain in the long term? So um, I think you're very correct. One of the biggest problems, you know, of NFTs has to be, you know, um, oversupply. Uh, you know, there are different collections. You, you see collections that have, um, you know, 5,000 NFTs, you know, 10,000 NFTs in their collection and they struggle to sell it out, you know. And, uh, you know, the moment you struggle to sell out a collection, it's going to be very hard, you know, to get um, secondary sales. So, um, you know, the, for, the, for the NFT collection of uh, the Elvish Magic, uh, we are going to be keeping it minimal. Um, the it's going to be a very small number of NFTs. Um, so you know, just to avoid scenarios where you know there are too much NFTs in circulation. And then, as regards um, you know, uh, the token, um, the total supply of the token is about one billion, and um, I think about half of that is currently you know um, in the hands of investors and in the liquidity pool. So um, there isn't exactly a concern about over circulation of the token. Also, the team ha um, has planned uh, to burn about 5% of uh, the total circulating, uh, circulating supply. Um, you know, this would help, um, you know, push down the market cap, um, you know, of uh, the tokens. Also, um, you know, it is not so advisable yet to burn a lot of tokens. You know, that is why the team would just be starting with, you know, 5%. Um, and then, you know, um, with subsequent progress in the project, they might, they would definitely, you know, decide uh, to reduce uh, the circulating supply of the tokens. So I hope that answered your question, Alexandre. Yeah, I got my answer. If you don't mind, I will ask one more question. Can I ask? Sure. Yeah, sure. Go on, Mr. Alex. Just be quick. Okay. How can we trust your project? And we believe you are not a scam project? There are, are there so many rex pulling and activity scam happening these days? So, um, when it comes to trust, um, I usually would, you know, tell people to, oh, you know, always do your research, you know, um, always ask questions. Um, you know, the BSC is actually a very, uh, you know, it's an open place. It's a, it's a very fair place. The blockchain is very transparent. Um, you know, you can see all of the transactions, you know, you can see if, you know, the team has a chunk of the supply or if the team is selling tokens or, or whatnot. So, um, as always, I'll 
the team is very trusted, you know, for them to have run, um, you know, pre-sales across two launch pads. And, you know, those two pre-sales were successful. You know, also the team is KYC, uh, with pink sale, the contract is audited. Um, so there are a couple of things that have been put in place, you know, to further drive up, um, you know, investor confidence uh, in the project. But as always, I would, I, I am inviting you, you know, to jump into the Telegram, uh, you know, to also do your, uh, you know, background research. I think it's, uh, it's advisable, you know, for everyone, uh, you know, to uh, do their own research. Uh, but yeah, the team is pretty trustworthy. Uh, you know, the team is still here uh, since the launch. Tons of projects literally die off. The team's actually ghost, you know, members probably one or two days after launch. Uh, but the team is here. You know, they they have reached out, you know, to the CMO of, um, they've reached out to the CMO uh, of, uh, you know, uh, of our chain, you know, to help with marketing, to ensure that, you know, investors are profitable, they are making money. So, yeah, so I, um, I definitely, you know, would advise you to jump in and follow us and see, you know, what is to come. Thank you so much for your great answer. Best of luck, your project. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Alex. And thank you, Alex. Uh, yeah, Mr. Greg, um, would you like to pick another one again? Or maybe we can pick randomly, just random. Oh, I see Alpha here now. Do you think we can unmute Alpha now? <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I think we can. Okay, Alpha, you are now um, unmuted. You can now go ahead with your question. Yes, thank you very much. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Go on with your question. All right, thank you. Um, great presentation, Greg. So um, I was um, checking out the staking period they are adding here. So I wanted to um, ask if you could, you know, I'll highlight the different staking periods. And if um, it would it be possible for one to maybe unstake before this period elapses. And if that would be possible, would you be charging a penalty for unstaking? And what exactly would this, what, what would the percentage B that you'd be charging, maybe five percent or two percent on for um early on staking or something like that. So if you could, you could, you could touch on that real quick. All right. Um. Thank you very much, Alpha. I think I missed um. You know, I missed out on that during my presentation. Um. There is going to you know be three durations for the staking. We are going to have the fifteen days. We are going to have the thirty days and also, uh, the three months uh, staking duration. Um, there is definitely, you know, going to be a penalty for, um, you know, users who on stake early. Um, but say users that have or that hold, you know, the Elvish Magic NFTs might be able to circumvent, you know, the uh, penalties, you know, for on staking early. They would be able to, you know, reduce, um, you know, their staking duration. Um, you know, these are some of the perks we in, we hope to introduce uh, into the project uh, via. Um, you know, via the NFTs, uh, the tiered um, NFTs. Um, so when it comes to the staking penalty, the penalties aren't going to be huge. Uh, it's probably going to be between 2 to 5% of the staking rewards. Um, I hope that answered the question, Alpha. Thank you very much. And, um, All right, thank you very much, Alpha. That was... Don't mind. So I just want to, like, actually understand how your um, aggregator works. So basically, would um would you mean that I'll be uh you'll be ag aggregating NFTs from marketplaces like OpenSea, Magic Eden, you know, and users will be able to buy NFTs that are listed on those exchanges from your own marketplace. So uh, thank you very much, Alpha. Yeah, uh, we are going to be pulling data across. We are going to be pulling data across. Uh, you know, multiple. Um, blockchains, um, holders, you know, uh, users of the uh, aggregator would be able to, you know, make purchases, would be able to buy um, into, you know, NFTs that are listed across, you know, uh, different platforms, you know, you know, depending on the, uh, you know, depending on the chain involved. Um, I know there are custom chains for NFTs on Solana, for NFTs on BSC, you know, for NFTs on the Ethereum network. Uh, the aggregator is going to be pulling data from all of these sources, you know, just to ensure that, um, 
you know, the, the search engine optimization is on point. You know, users are able to get, you know, uh, you know, they are able to see tokens that fit into the collections they are requesting for and also, you know, get suggestions. You know, they will be able to see, you know, trending um, NFTs currently in the market, you know, and whatnot. So um, I, I hope that answered your question, um, you know, Alpha. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Alpha. Thank you so much, Alpha, for your wonderful questions. And um, Mr. Greek, let's pick another one. Anyone who you might like to pick, just tell, tell the name and I will unmute him for you. All right. Um, let's, uh, it's pretty hard. I, I think I can see yeah. Space Ranger. So Space let's, uh, Ranger. Yeah. Uh, hello, Space Ranger. You can now unmute yourself and go with your question. I'm audible. Yes, you yeah, are. Go on. Okay. First of all, before I move into my question, I want to say thanks for giving me this great opportunity. Um, quick. Uh, my uh, question you're is, welcome. Um, okay. Before I move into my question, I just want to say thanks for giving me this great opportunity, quick. So uh, my question is, um, um, what has been um your biggest challenge in developing your project, and how were you able to solve this problem? I don't really know if you get out. Um, thank you very much. Uh, so I think, um, as always, um, the biggest challenge when it comes to most project has to be, you know, putting the uh the project um in the face of the right people, helping the project, you know, gain acceptance, uh, you know, among amongst investors in different communities. Um, you know, this is why um, before the pre-sale, you know, I was in a couple of communities. I was in, at Caesars. You know, I, I, I was in a ton of communities, you know, speaking to them about the Elvish magic. And, you know, now uh, almost over a week after the pre-sale, I'm also in, in communities. And then me yesterday, I had, you know, I'm here, in, you know, speaking to the crypto miner community. And, um, you know, I am going to be speaking in another community tomorrow, you know, on Monday, you know, just, you know, to inform um, investors about what, you know, the Elvish Magic team is bringing to the table, what unique, you know, utilities they are trying to build, how they intend to solve, you know, the problems that are currently um, in the space. Um, so, uh, I know, and we've been able to solve uh, this, you know, uh, exposure problem, you know, by going in places, like I said, uh, you know, talking to people, ensuring, you know, people see why, you know, they should jump into a telegram, why they should buy into the token, you know, why, um, you know, they should, you know, be a part of this project. You know, we are creating community is where you know, everybody can, uh, you know, can feel, you know, accepted. If you're Turkish, we have a Turkish community. If you're Indian, uh, we have an Indian community. If you're Chinese, we have a Chinese community. You know, and you know we intend to expand this, you know, into other spheres. So, um, yeah, I think that is, you know, the biggest challenge, and that is how we've been able to solve it. Okay, okay, well, that's really great. Um, I also want to know, um, you know, um, I've been listening to the AMA for some time now, so I just want to know about um the liquidity pool of the project. So, um, you know, um, liquidity pool I used to facilitate um decentralized financial lending, staking, and you know. Um, we have seen that liquidity has become an important part of uh, many ecosystems. You know, um, many projects run into liquidity problem. We all know that. So um, my question here is, um, what liquidity system uh, will your project use to increase the token value? I don't really need to get that question. So um, I, I think uh, you probably might not exactly understand what you know liquidity uh, you know pools are meant for. Uh, basically, what liquidity pools uh, uh, used for is to ensure that, um, you know, um, users are able to, you know, buy and sell, you know, without waiting, uh, you know, for someone on the other end, say you're trying to buy, you know, one BNB on Binance, your trade, uh, you know, your trade command is only going to be executed when somebody on the other side is selling uh, one BNB. So uh, usually if you, you know, are involved in, you know, huge, um, you know, you trade huge transactions, uh, you would notice that um, all of your transactions do not exactly go through in one go. Um, they go, uh, you know, through in bits. Uh, this is because, you know, um, the system is trying to match you, you know, at the price you had set against someone who is trying to sell, you know, at that price. Um, you know, as against, you know, a liquidity pool that uses the AMM models, 
where everybody is able to buy and sell at the same time, you know, without waiting for somebody on the other side. You know, we are, we are trying to buy and you know, waiting for somebody on the other side to sell. So, you know, the only thing that increases LP has to be, you know, more buyers coming in, more funds coming into uh, the project. That is the only way, you know, LPs, uh, you know, are going to get thickened because, you know, they are going to, you know, be depositing uh, BNB into the LPs and they are going to be getting the tokens in, in return. So, yeah, um, the only way, you know, LPs are going to be pushed up is if new buyers actually come in. And this is what we are working on. You know, every single day, just to ensure that you know buyers are coming into the project. You know, more faces are seeing what we are building. You know, um, you know, more faces are seeing what we are building, and more persons are you know checking out you know what we are doing. So yeah, this is you know how we intend to you know raise up the LP. Okay. Um. Thanks for um giving me this. Um. Thanks for answering my question and thanks for giving me this good opportunity. You only answered my question perfectly. Thanks. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much, Space Ranger. And I think we can pick a two more people, Mr. Greek. So who would you like to pick? Um Okay, I can see um uh Chucky. Okay, Chucky. Chucky is a great peep. He's loyal to this community. <laughs> Hello, Chucky. Hey, Winnie. Hello, Mr. Chucky. Um, so I got Hi, a Chucky. quick question now. Yeah. So I have a quick question. So um, what post-launch assistance do you offer to projects, to game fire projects, basically? So, um, you know, when projects do actually launch, um, usually the, um, the task of the launch pad is you know, almost over. Uh, I think the only other thing, you know, that is necessary uh, in the next couple of weeks is to ensure, you know, um, the project doesn't rug off launch, you know, it doesn't scam investors. Um, so the first thing is uh, this, you know, this um, after, you know, pre-sale assistance is, def is definitely, you know, going to be for investors, you know, to keep them safe, uh, to ensure that, you know, the team is doing as promised. Um, but when it comes to the project, you know, uh, depending on, you know, how much, you know, the team um, or whatever project is building, depending on how much, you know, partnership that we've been able to enter into, uh, you know, they can uh, be able to benefit from, you know, development assistance, you know, uh, community management, marketing, you know, and whatnot. So, you know, these are some of the things that will be made available, you know, to project owners, you know, post-launch. Oh, okay, okay. So, like, so are there like any scenarios that could result in refund of tokens, like a case of a rock pool? So, um, we would be doing everything you know in our capacity to ensure that rock pools do not happen. You know, um, I currently, I personally, you know, maintain uh, that um, you know, rock pools uh, happen in two forms. Uh, you know, the first is on chain. Uh, you know, rock pools happen when, you know, there are so many tokens that are unlocked and the team have access to them. And, you know, they dump, you know, all of these tokens to empty uh, the liquidity pool. And also rock pools happen inside of the contract where, um, you know, the team are going to, you know, say they blacklist, you know, all of the uh, addresses that are, you know, that are bought into the contract and they stop them from selling. You know, this is also a form of rock pool and then they empty the LP. So basically, what we'll be doing, you know, in two quarter work pools is to ensure that, you know, teams do not have access to, you know, amounts of tokens that can actually empty the LP or, you know, in quote, rug uh, the project. Also, you know, we would be cross-checking, you know, uh, the contract to ensure that, you know, they can increase, uh, the, you know, they can make the contract an only port, um, you know, they can increase taxes to 100%, you know, they can blacklist wallet from selling, you know, this you know, these are all of the things, you know, that we would be putting in place, you know, just to avoid, you know, rock pools and whatnot. I hope, you know, that answered your question, Chucky. Oh, yeah, it did. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Chucky. Thank you for coming out. Okay. Thank you so much, Chucky. That's a wonderful question. And Mr. Greek, we can pick the last winner. 
Okay, I can see Bin Tang Captain. Oh, Bin Tang Captain. Uh, hello, Bin Tang Captain. Hello. Hey, you. go on with your question. Yeah, we can Thank hear you. you. Mr. Thank you, Mr. Greek and uh, Uncle Rani. I have my question. How does the Elvis Magic surf up in now be market? And what do you think about the tour and beer market? Thank you. Can you say that again? What? Can you ask your question again? Okay, I try. How does Elpis Magic surf up in now beer market? And what do you think about the tour and beer market? Okay, so um, what we think about the trend market, um, you know, regardless of what the market is saying, um, you know, on the short term, uh, a bearish market might uh, affect, you know, um, the price of the token, um, you know, it might affect the charts. But, um, um, but when the team is dedicated, you know, to building out utilities, um, you know, to building out, um, you know, um, services, you know, value, when they are, um, you know, very concerned about giving value back to investors, you know, the situation of the market doesn't exactly affect, you know, whatever they are doing. Um, Pink Sale had a $1 million buyback in 2022. And we all know how, you know, bad the market was in 2022. But they were able to, you know, make a $1 million buyback into their project. So, um, you know, when you are dedicated to building utilities, when you are dedicated, you know, to solving problems, um, you know, this, uh, the market is going to be the least of your concern. You know, you are just going to be focused on, you know, pushing out utility, pushing out, you know, more, uh, you know, more, you know, innovative stuff. And you are quite assured that when, uh, you know, whenever the bull market does come around, because, you know, the market cannot be bearish forever, uh, whenever the bull market does come around, you know, uh, both investors, you know, and the team that have been building consistently, that have had their head down, you know, developing new products, uh, they are going to be, you know, glad that they have been building because, you know, tons and tons of, you know, profit making opportunities are going to, you know, show itself. So, yeah, this is what we think, you know, about the current, you know, market scenario. I hope that answered your question, Captain. Oh, very, very beautiful answer. Thank you, Mr. Greg. All right, thank you so much, Bin Tang Captain. All right, Mr. Greg, I think we have come to the end of our Q&A session. So um, maybe you would like to leave any like a closing remark for the community before we conclude the session. Um, all right, thank you very much, Rainy. So, um, I, okay, um, thank you very much uh, for having me, Rainy. Thank you very much for the questions. Um, thank you very much, um, you know, Crypto Miners uh, community. Um, you know, you guys have been, you know, quite amazing, pretty amazing. Uh, the responsive, the, the responsiveness, the love has been amazing. Uh, what I would, you know, advise everyone is I'm inviting you to jump into a Telegram, you know, come in, ask questions. Um, we're currently having um, a biggest uh, buy, um, you know, competition. So jump into the Telegram, you know, participate, you know, to win prizes. Um, you know, you can just jump, just make sure and show you jump into the Telegram. Uh, you know, um, you can, you know, just be on the sidelines watching things. As always, check our, uh, you know, check out our website, check out our white paper, you know, reach out to the moderators if you have any questions. You can send me a DM if you have any questions. Uh, you know, as always, none of the things you've heard here is financial advice. Um, you know, I would always you know, get you to, you know, check the website, check the white paper, ask questions, and um, I will be speaking to you very soon. Thank you, Rainy, for having me. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Greek. And for the Telegram uh, group link of Elvish Magic, I've posted it on our community chat so the community can check it out there. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Greek. It's been a great uh, session here today. And you have a very great speaking voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, thank you very much, Rainy. I Thank you. I, I'm going to blush, but uh, I'll try not to. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for having me. You're, you're an amazing host.
Yeah, our pleasure. Thank you so much, Mr. Greek. And yeah, that's the end of our session for today. We wish all the very best for Elvish Magic and V Crypto Miners is always in support with Elvish Magic. Thank you so much, Mr. Greek. Have a great day. And you too. Have a great day.